Squigglet here. Can you hear that crunching and munching? Who could be making all that noise when they eat? There is one animal that loves to eat all day long. It's small and green and wiggly. It's a caterpillar. Shall we squiggle our own caterpillar? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. We'll need a bumpy line to draw the caterpillar's body. I love bumpy lines. Squiggle one with me. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Up and down. 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 All the way along. There! That's my bumpy line. What's yours like? Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, all the way along. That's the top of our caterpillar. We just need one more bumpy line to make the bottom. Down and up, down and up, all the way along. Let's use a round line for his head. He needs two eyes, antennae, and a smiley mouth. There's our caterpillar. Shall we meet him? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. Hello there, Squigglet. Arthur Chumpelot's my name. Pleased to meet you, Arthur. I've been crunching and munching all day, but I'm still hungry for some lettuce leaves. Oops, excuse me, that's my tummy rumbling. I don't have any lettuce leaves, but we could squiggle some for you if you like. Oh, yes, please. My garden's full of lettuces. OK, Arthur. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We can all squiggle a lettuce leaf. Remember that bumpy line we used earlier? We'll need another one. Ready? Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. That's the top of our lettuce leaf. Then two lines for the side. One, two. And one for the bottom and some straight lines in the middle. I'm going to make mine green. What colour are you going to make yours? There! One lovely lettuce. Oh, oh. Oh, thanks, everyone! Mm. While Arthur's munching, I'm going to squiggle the rest of Arthur's garden. Join in if you like. No wonder you like it here, Arthur. Look at all those lettuces. Oh, this one's the biggest I've ever seen. I'm saving it for dessert. Can you hear whistling? <gasps> it's Barney Nibbler, the gardener. He doesn't like me eating his lettuces. Oh, I'd better hide in here. Hello there. Can't stop and chat. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Where are you off to? The country fair. There's a prize for the biggest lettuce. And I'm sure to win with this beauty. That one? 
Oh, it's just that... Oh dear, we'd better go and see if Arthur's okay. <laughs> Must be around here somewhere. Hello, everyone. I am Boris Badger. It is time for me to inspect your lettuces and award this rosette to the winner. I hope Barney's big lettuce wins. Ooh. Lovely lettuce, Mrs. Mopsy. Very good, Mr. Hopalop. It's Barney's turn now. <gasps> My lettuce! Ooh. <coughs> Oops, excuse me. Oh no. Does this mean Barney won't get the rosette, Boris? I'm afraid so. Sorry, Barney, but your lettuce doesn't count if it's in a caterpillar's tummy. <laughs> the prize for biggest lettuce goes to Mr. Hopalot. <laughs> Poor Barney. How can I make it up to him? We can squiggle him a winner's rosette. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We can start with our bumpy line. Ready? Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. All the way around in a circle. Let's add two ribbons. One. Two. I'm going to colour mine red and orange. What colour are you going to make yours? There! What a lovely rosette! <laughs> this is for you, Barney. I'm sorry about your lettuce. Arthur was just so hungry. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks, everyone. It really is a lovely rosette. <laughs> It's a shame about that lettuce, though. It was the biggest one I'd ever grown. But never mind. Oh, I feel really bad about Barney's lettuce. Well, you wouldn't have eaten it if you weren't so hungry. I oh, know. I wish I knew why I'm always hungry. Don't worry, Arthur. Let's see if we can find a clue from the squiggle pad. There's a hungry caterpillar, just like Arthur. Munching away. Munch, munch. A caterpillar turns into a chrysalis before changing into a butterfly. This one's just hatched. Butterflies have beautiful wings. Look at the different patterns and colours. <laughs> that must be why you're always so hungry, Arthur. You need lots of energy because you're about to change into a butterfly. <coughs> oh, wish it didn't take so long, though. I'm hungry again. Well, we can change you into a butterfly right now. Really? Yes. With a little bit of squiggling. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's squiggle two butterfly wings. Let's start with our bumpy line. Ready? Round and round. Round and up. That's the first wing. Let's draw the other wing. Round and down and round and up. 
and a straight line down the middle. A beautiful pair of butterfly wings. I'm going to make mine purple with orange spots. What pattern are you going to give yours? still want to make it up to Barney for eating his lettuce. I've got an idea. Whoa, I'm flying. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Now off as a butterfly, he can fly all over the countryside collecting seeds. And seeds can grow into Vegetables. Ooh. Wow, look at all those. Yes, I got the best seeds from everywhere. And I planted them and grew these vegetables. Barney and Arthur. You win the prize for being the best gardeners ever. Hooray! If I was still a caterpillar, I'd have eaten all these before we even got here. <laughs> <laughs> then it's lucky you're a butterfly. Join in with our song, everyone. Caterpillar, caterpillar, crawling along, crawling along to the munching. has worn me out. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! Bye. <laughs>